Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is actually inspired by tiny homes. If you guys don't know what a tiny home is, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a home that has all of the same basic elements that a larger house would have, but in a much smaller package and everything is super functional. So I actually got the opportunity to tour a tiny home with Cost Plus World Market and it was a really fun experience. Um, they actually decorated the entire place. So huge thank you to them for that opportunity and also for sponsoring this video. I'm sure most of you guys are, but if you're not familiar with World Market, they are a specialty retailer that sells everything from floor to ceiling, including carpets, lighting, furniture, um, kitchen stuff. I bought a lot of my kitchen stuff from there. I absolutely just love going in there and browsing the store. And they offer all this at really budget friendly prices. So it was really cool to see them decorate this tiny home with a lot of the newer collections that they have out right now. Everything was just so functional there. Everything had a place, had a purpose that it got me thinking, how can we translate all of that into our own homes and making our own homes a little bit more functional and opening up those smaller spaces. So today I have five tips for you guys and I hope you guys enjoy it. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into it. My tip number one is to maximize wall space. And this includes wall space and also behind the doors. That's something that I saw that the tiny home did really well, especially in the kitchen area. They had these floating shelves that they used to set out their dishes and also cups because there wasn't a lot of storage as far as like cabinets and drawers went. Um, so they did that and I love that they also uh, took the opportunity to make those shelves decorative so they look really good as well. They also had this like spice rack that they hung up above um, the counter if I remember correctly but that's also another really great way of maximizing that wall space. I keep my spices in a drawer because I have the additional space but I feel like back when I lived in my apartment I didn't have a lot of that counter space and things like that and that would have been such a good idea to mount like a little spice rack and if you guys have been following my channel you know that I'm a huge fan of doing like behind the door type of storage systems. My linen closet is super small, so I do have one of those things that hang over the door in order to maximize that space. My second tip is something that I talked about before, but I feel like the tiny home did such a good job of illustrating this that I had to talk about it again. Um, and that is just using really light and neutral colors on the walls and then using your accessories as a pop of color. So the bathroom in this tiny home was extremely small. Like as you guys can see, there is literally just room for one person in there you turn around you have your toilet and then you turn around your sink and then your shower so there's like literally room for nothing else but somehow it didn't feel that small when you walked in there because they did such a good job of just keeping all of the uh, basic colors white it was bright it felt airy and then they used a really bold kind of like lime green color to accent everything and then on top of that the shower curtain was also really bold and um, it had this beautiful print on it the entire house kind of had the same theme where the walls were very neutral and plain and then they just used accessories to kind of spice everything up and like I've told you guys before this is where you can truly bring in your personal preference, your personality into a room. If you have a smaller space, it is so important to make every single piece of furniture count. So the more purposes they can serve, the better. I love the idea of using an ottoman, not just to like put your feet up, but also to use it as a little side table whenever you need it. So you could put like a little tray just to make things a little bit sturdier and then put your drinks or snacks on top. And this is just a really good way of maximizing space and having multi-purpose furniture. I also love the way that they use the bar cart in the tiny home. Um, first of all, the bar cart that they have is gorgeous. It is gold and then it has like the acrylic shelving on it, which I think is perfect for a smaller space because anything that's like acrylic or glass or just see-through is going to give the appearance of more space. I love that they use this bar cart for multiple things. At the very top, they have like the entertainment stuff, which can we talk about this cheese tray? It's so pretty. And then they also have like additional serving dishes and drinking cups. And at the very bottom, they actually used it to hold fruit, which I think is an awesome idea for bar carts. Futons are also a really good uh, multi-purpose type of furniture. They serve as a sofa in the daytime and then at night you can turn it into a bed. My fourth tip is to use your everyday items and have them double as decor. I did this in my laundry room as well. If you guys haven't watched my laundry organization video, I, I took a lot of things like laundry detergent out of their containers and I put them in prettier canisters. That way they were functional, but they also look pretty. Um, some of the things that I saw that they did in the tiny home, which I really liked and I'm probably gonna do in my home is um, 
they had their little sponge out on a little decorative dish. I thought that was a really good idea. You know, you have to have your sponge out for it to air dry so it doesn't collect bacteria. So why not put it in a really pretty dish? Another thing that I saw that they did that I thought was really cool is they put their Lacey Susan right next to the stove. So you can put all of your condiments and things like that. Uh, but the Lacey Susan itself was really pretty. So it was like a, a wood material, but I've also seen that they have some really nice marble ones. You guys will notice they also took a lot of the spices out of their containers and kind of put them in their own decorative containers, like the olive oil, the vinegar, also the salt and pepper. They also had lots of little decorative jars that you could put things like sugar, coffee. My final tip is to have furniture that not only is multi-purpose, but also that doubles as storage. There is like no better hiding place than hiding in plain sight. One of my personal favorite is ottomans that have storage in them. They serve two purposes. You know, you can use them as a coffee table, as a footrest, but at the same time, there's storage inside of them. I also love the dresser that they had in the living space. This one in particular is a very statement piece. So they used it to tie in the theme of the decor in the room, but at the same time, there's so much additional space. So this is um, where you could put anything from like cleaning supplies to additional clothes to scarves that you don't wear all the time, toy storage if you have little ones. You guys know I love my baskets. So I do have a lot of baskets throughout the house that are all kind of different textures and also just different styles depending on what room I'm putting them in. But this is a great way of having storage in plain sight, but being contained at the same time. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys got some design decorating inspiration from it. If you guys want to check out World Market, definitely make sure to visit them locally or you guys can also visit them online. I will make sure to leave the link down below. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new, I hope you subscribe. I upload videos every single week and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.